Amac on the mix. Ugh. Yo, what up, guys? It's your girl Amac back with another quick tip. And today I want to talk about importing audio files into your Pro Tools session and making sure that they actually end up in the audio files folder of your Pro Tools session. Now, when you look over here at the options, it gives you add, add all, copy, copy all. Now, when it says add here, that means that the sample rate of these files and my session are the same. I'm going to quickly just go and show you what it would look like if that didn't happen. So here are different stems for another song. Now they change copy to convert and you can no longer add. Now that's because the sample rate of these files is different from my session and they have to be converted to be able to go into the session. Otherwise, they're going to be sped up or slowed down depending and not go with the track at all. Um, so when this happens, you have no choice to convert. And when you convert, the files automatically do go into the audio files folder. But where you can get in trouble if you don't know what you're doing is with files that are already the same sample rate as these are because it gives you the option to add and it makes this blue and it makes you think like, I just wanna add them. What that's trying to do is help you save space on your hard drive by having Pro Tools go and find those files in the folder that they're already in, like this one. So every time you opened this Pro Tools session, it would find these audio files in my downloads folder. But we don't wanna do that. We really wanna make sure our audio files are always with our session. That's how you don't lose audio files. And also when you go to send sessions to other people, they open the session and the audio files are all still there, otherwise, it's gonna come up with a notification that says it can't find the audio because it's still in your downloads folder on your computer and not theirs. So we always wanna make sure that we're hitting copy or convert. And when you do that, you're gonna hit done. It's over in the right hand corner. I know you can't see on my screen right now. You choose done and then it's going to give you a pop-up menu and it's already chosen the audio files folder in the session that you're working on and you wanna just hit open. And now that means that those files are going to be saved in the audio files folder. After this audio processes, I'll show you uh, how you can double check that. Okay, once the audio is done processing, it's you're going to want a new track. You hit OK. And now all your files are in your session. But what you're going to want to do is go to Finder and you're just going to find the session you're looking for and go to audio files. And as you can see, here are all the files we just imported. And it says the time of when I did this, which is 5.04 PM. So you know that they're in there, they're in your audio files. And now every time you open this Pro Tools session, even if you delete the folder out of your downloads folder, which clean out your downloads folder, <laughs> um, none of your files will be missing. And that's how you make sure your audio files go into your audio files folder in Pro Tools. That's all I got for y'all today. Peace.